Hi, Pastor Bill, Bethel Lutheran Church. We're located in Green Valley. Today is Tuesday. It's the 6th of April. Please join me in prayer. Lord God, may we always be grateful for our lot and compassionate toward all those who are suffering all kinds of distress at this difficult time. May we hold back nothing and instead be quick to be the ministers of prayer and mercy, like the very first disciples of Jesus, who went about doing good in times of need. May the resurrection of our Lord inspire us towards greater works in your name. Amen. And our reading for today is 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 50 and following. Paul writes, I need to emphasize, friends, that our natural earthly lives don't in themselves lead us by their very nature into the kingdom of God. Their very nature is to die. So how could they naturally end up in the life kingdom? But let me tell you something wonderful, a mystery I'll probably never fully understand. We're not all going to die, but we all will be changed. You hear a blast and all blasts from a trumpet. And in the time that you look up and blink your eyes, it's over. On signal from that trumpet from heaven, the dead will be up and out of their graves, beyond the reach of death, never to die again. And at the same moment, and in the same way, we'll all be changed. In the resurrection scheme of things, this has to happen. Everything perishable, taken off the shelves, and replaced by the imperishable. This mortal replaced by the immortal. Then this saying will come true. Death swallowed up by triumphant life. Who got the last word, O death? O death, who is afraid of you now? Here ends our reading. Paul's message from 1 Corinthians is very timely here. It comes right on the heels of of the day of resurrection, the day which we also call Easter, the day in which the Lord proclaims very loudly that death doesn't have the last word in our lives. All of us, at one time or another, we're thinking about death, we talk about death, we think about our days and how they're numbered. But as Christians, we have faith that God has every good intent in his own heart. Every good intent for us. Death is swallowed up by the victory of the resurrection. Death is swallowed up by what Christ has done for us. Amen. Please pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God accompany you always with his incredible love. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. For I once was lost, but now I'm found Was blind, but now I see Hallelujah Christ is risen from the grave Hallelujah Christ is risen from the grave Welcome to the sinner now a saint for the 
God who died came back to life And everything has changed Hallelujah Christ is risen from the grave Hallelujah Christ is risen from the grave Oh death where is your sting? Oh fear where is your power? Christ is risen from the grave 